Is it alright if I come round? Is it too late if I come now? Would you stay up to figure this out some way? Hey everyone, so I am back with another video and today I am going to be doing a summer clothing haul. I've accumulated quite a bit of clothing for the warm weather. It has already started getting pretty toasty out. So I'm just going to show you guys everything that I have picked up recently. And all of these are from Yes Style. So with that, let's just whiz right through it. To kick things off, I have the perfect summer sundress. It has some really pretty floral lace on the sides and the back. It laces up a little bit in the front, which gives it a really nice corset style look. And of course, this dress is great for the warm weather because it is very lightweight. It keeps you nice and cool. And it's really simple, but really cute. You can just slap on a straw hat and some sandals and you're good to go. Next up, I have this really pretty white blouse. It's got some frills and some lace. This is probably one of my favorite and most worn shirts because it's really simple, but it goes with absolutely everything. Great for the hot weather because it is very lightweight. It's actually a bit sheer, but you could just slap on a lace bralette underneath and call it a day, or you can wear nothing underneath and that is fine too. Next up, I have this really pretty roughly pink top. I actually got this specifically for a Rapunzel Disney bound. I have a vintage gunny sack skirt that I got a while back. It is purple, it has flowers, it has lace. It has always reminded me of Rapunzel, so I thought it would be really cute to do a Punzi bound, especially with my hair how it is right now. It is the perfect color and the perfect length. If I just flip it out, it looks exactly like Rapunzel's when she gets her hair chopped off. So that is the reason that I got this shirt and I'm very excited to put this Disney bound together. The only thing that I'm a little bit iffy about is that it is very open in the back and I tend to steer clear of open back or low cut back tops because I have a lot of acne scars on my back. Should I be self-conscious about them? Probably not. Am I? Yes, I am. But I'm gonna have to suck it up eventually because I'm 100% doing this Rapunzel bound, so. So next up is a t-shirt. I have actually been buying quite a few t-shirts recently. I don't usually wear t-shirts because I don't think they look very good on me, but what I've been doing lately is altering them, which you will probably start noticing a pattern of. I just chop the sleeves off and I give them a v-cut and I feel like they look a lot more flattering on me that way. But anyways, I picked up this t-shirt. This is just a really pretty muted blue color. It's got some nice little embroidered flowers on the side and of course I altered it. Next up in my haul I have a blazer and it is just a nice simple plaid blazer. This actually came in a set with a skirt but I never wear the skirt because it doesn't really fit me. It's very short and it doesn't really fit over my butt. It has pleats and the pleats separate and stick out really awkwardly so I never wear the skirt. But I wear the blazer a lot. It's a nice lightweight jacket for cooler days or cool nights. So I have really been digging this. And for my next few pieces, I have some skirts that actually do fit me. So first up is this one right here. I have been really obsessed with this skirt, mainly because I think the color is so pretty. It's a muted greenish blue color. It buttons up a little bit on the front. It's got some pleats on one side and it's just straight fit on the other. I really like the way this skirt looks. It also has built-in shorts, which is of course a win in my book. The next skirt is kind of similar styled but slightly different and it is this one right here. Once again it has the buttons on the front. This one doesn't have any pleating, it is just straight fit. Once again I really like the colors on this one. This has a lot of tans and browns but then it also has a very very slight pop of blue in there which I think is a nice touch. The only problem that I have with this skirt is that it tends to ride up a lot when I walk. I don't know if it's because it does not have built-in shorts, but it just wiggles its way on up and it's pretty awkward, so I tend to only wear this when I know I'm not going to be doing a lot of walking. If you guys have any tips or tricks on how to stop skirts or dresses from riding up when you walk, I would love to hear them. But other than that, still a very cute skirt. And the last skirt is a very nice, refreshing, 
pop of color. It is this white one with yellow sunflowers all over it. It buttons up the front and the material is really nice because it's slightly stretchy. I think this is a very cute summer skirt, so there's that. So the next piece in my haul, I believe I wore in my spring makeup video and it is this dress right here. This is just a white dress and it has little yellow cherries all over it. I'm really, really into the cut and style of this dress. It's got the square neckline, the puffy sleeves, it's fitted, but then at the bottom it's got some ruffles. I think it's just a really flattering cut of dress. I've been really obsessed with this style, just like pretty much every other girl on the planet has been right now. But you know what? If the bandwagon is cute and doesn't hurt anybody, then jump on it. Next up, I have kind of a throwback, and it is a wrap shirt. I used to wear wrap shirts and wrap dresses all the time in my young YouTube days. Yeah, I picked up a wrap shirt. This one is just white with pink flowers on it. Very simple, very cute. I tend to really reach for this when it is excruciatingly hot out because it keeps you really, really cool. So next up in my haul, I have this romper right here. This thing is so freaking cute. It is just tan, it's got some white and brown spots on it, and it's got a plunging neckline, a really fitted waist, and then it gets very ruffly and flowy at the bottom, so much so that it almost looks like a dress, but it's not. I have really, really been loving this, and of course, it is great for the hot weather. Next up, next up, I have this very cute, dainty, and delicate top. This is a very ruffly shirt. It's got kind of a lace-up corset style in the front. It's got my favorite style. I don't know what it's called, but I call it cupped boobies. I don't know what the proper name for this style of top is called, but I should probably find out so that I can easily search for them. Because yeah, nothing comes up when you search cupped boobies. So. And then last but definitely not least, I have a very, very pretty corset style top. I actually altered this top, which you will see in a second, but it is just a very, very pretty vintage corset style top. This piece, the long sleeves and the collar and the actual corset piece were connected when I bought them, but I separated them so that I could wear them together as a shirt, or if I want to be a little bit more casual, I can just wear the corset on its own. I like to wear it over a t-shirt. I feel like it gives a really nice, casual, but really cute look. This actually looks like a perfect knockoff shirt for a blouse that Kendall Jenner wore in a photo shoot. I saw that, I saved that photo, I really, really loved that top, so I was very pleasantly surprised when I found this little knockoff version of it on YesStyle. So that is it for the clothing pieces, and then I have a few accessories that I wanted to show. Where the heck did he... Oh. Oh, they're in my hair. Um, I have some hair clips that I want to show. They're in my hair, but fear not because I have more. So the hair clips that I wanted to show are these ones right here. You may have seen these in my previous hairstyle video, and I got so many comments and questions asking where I picked these hair clips up. They're pretty much everywhere, I feel like. I don't know about in America, but in Japan, they are everywhere. You can buy them at Claire's or pretty much any little pop-up jewelry place but they are also on Yes Style, and they're very, very cheap. So yeah, really been digging the statement hair clips, so that is the first accessory that I wanted to show. So next up, I have this pair of shoes. These are just very simple, very cute slip-on shoes, but thank goodness they also have this little lace-up spot so that you can wrap it up ballerina style around your ankle, which I am very happy about because I cannot wear slip-on shoes. I don't know what it is. Maybe I walk like a crazy person, but every time I wear slip-on shoes, somehow at some point in the day, one of them is just gonna go flying off. And don't ask me how it happens, because I don't know. And then the top of them are a nice tan faux suede material. Very simple and very cute. And the next and last thing that I have to show is another pair of shoes, and I feel like these are the perfect summer shoes. They are so cute. They have a nice white and tan striped material and a very cute wrap bow on the top. And they buckle around your ankle. And just like the last pair, they have a really nice tan faux suede material. I really, really love these shoes. I think they are so cute, perfect for summer. And 
I am always a sucker for pointed toe shoes, so. And I believe that wraps up my summer clothing haul, so I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video, and that is pretty much it. So until next time, stay cozy. Bye!